Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be testing out Valentino's new green extravaganza fragrance. I've been stalking the internet for literally months trying to find this fragrance and when it was coming out. And it's finally available on the Valentino website. It's crazy y'all, cause I ordered this yesterday and it just got here. So that's like a little over 24 hours, which I'm not complaining about though. I'm really excited to try this out cause the green bottle really caught my eye. But the packaging is green. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, this is cute. I'm dropping stuff. This is what the bottle looks like. The juice is actually green. This is so cute, y'all, but let me go ahead and read the notes and then we're gonna try it out and talk about it. So, for the Valentino Donna Born and Roma Green Stravaganza, for the top notes it has Lapsang Suchong Tea, Hopefully I'm saying that right. Then for the middle notes, you got Jasmine. And then for the base notes, you got Vanilla. Y'all, I honestly don't know how my life is. I love Vanilla. Y'all know I'm a grandma and girly. But I don't know about this tea note. And I really don't like Jasmine or many white florals. But <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Because Valentino, they do have some really nice scents. But I don't know about this one. We're we about to see. about to see. App. I'm dropping the lid already. <laughs> Am I nervous to try it out? Is that what it is? Let me just leave there. Okay. Got my test strip here. Let's go ahead and spray it. Oops. I'm already smelling it. I guess I wasn't really sure what that tea note would smell like, but it smells really nice. It kind of reminds me of bergamot though. It smells like bergamot for some reason. Y'all know bergamot is one of my favorite notes in a fragrance. It's not smelling super floral on paper though. And I know there is some vanilla there. It's not super sweet. If I had to say this scent right off the bat, it smells very green and earthy like, but in a really good way. Definitely gonna be perfect for spring and summer. A perfect spring, summer, daytime fragrance. I like this. From my initial impression though, it kind of reminds me a lot of Aquamedia from MFK. Like the opening definitely reminds me of that. Cause it kind of smells like a little bit citrusy. Like it's like citrusy, has like a citrusy green type of smell. I was not expecting it to smell like this. But I think that original Donna Born Aroma DNA is still there from the, from the vanilla and a little bit of the floral that's kind of coming through. So it kind of does smell like the original Donna Born Aroma, but with a little citrusy twist to it. I like this. Okay, let's actually test it on skin now. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test it on my hand because I sprayed a little bit of fragrance on my wrist earlier. I can just smell it. I'm gonna just do my elbow too. In the crease of my elbow. <laughs> I'm gonna test the longevity out and let y'all know later. Probably in a short. But let's see what it smells like on my skin. Oh. It smells slightly different on skin. It smells more like tea on skin. But really good though. Oh, I really, I really like this scent. You're mostly getting like a citrus vibe from this scent. It's like a sweet citrus scent. And you can tell the florals are there, but it's not super heavy right now, which I'm not mad about because I'm not really a big floral girly. Mm, this is a beautiful scent. And to be honest, y'all, I have the OG Donna Born Aroma. I've tried the Donna Born Aroma Pink Pea. 
Pink PP Rendezvous. <laughs> that name is just weird. And I have Coral Fantasy and I've smelled some of the other ones. But out of all the ones I've tried so far, I think this one is probably my favorite. Because y'all know I'm a gourmand girly, but I also really do like citrus scents. And I think it's just, this scent just encompasses a lot of that. But like without too much floral. Mm. I've been smelling some good scents this year already. 2024 is definitely off to a good start. On skin, it reminds me a little less of the Aquamedia scent I just mentioned, but this smells so freaking good, y'all. Absolutely. I don't classify any of the Valentino fragrances as be small fragrances, but you would definitely be noticed when you walk into a room because this scent, it stands out. I think it's gonna project well. But like I said, I'll let y'all know in a short as I actually test this out when I wear it. But initial impression, I am very happy with this. Very happy. Absolutely. Absolutely happy with this. But y'all, I got the I got the 50 milliliter version and it cost $135. But they do have a travel size version available on the Valentino website. And I think this is going to be available at Sephora on a later date. I think it might have said like the 22nd of February so be on the lookout for that but on the Valentino website you should be able to order it right now they have 100 ml for $165 and they have a 30 ml which is $92 I don't know why I thought I ordered the 30 ml but I think that might be out of stock so if you can get it please try to get your hands on this because I definitely recommend it, it smells really good and y'all let me go ahead and think about some fragrance combinations while we're here and if you made it to this point in the video drop a green heart in the comments and if you're new here say hello all right, so let's try, let's see. I probably should, should be spraying that much of it. <laughs> let's see, just because that citrus opening and that vanilla base. Don't be mad at me, y'all, if I try with Kaylee on. Okay, in my next few videos, I'm gonna try to use another scent instead of this one, because I've been using this a lot lately for my combos and I don't want y'all to feel like it's a cop out, but I just feel like these will smell good together because Kaeli Yum has that opening of bergamot and then it dries down into a beautiful gourmand scent. I had to do it, y'all. I had to. <laughs> okay. It doesn't smell like I thought it would smell. But it does smell good, though. It's a little bit more citrusy than I thought it would. I thought it'd be a little bit sweeter with the Kaeli Yum, but it's a nice scent combo though. I think I would give it, I'd probably give it a seven out of 10 though. I could do better. Okay, let's try it with, let's do it with something that's a little bit more on the gourmand side though. Let me just do one spray because I want to save it. <laughs> this smells so good y'all. Um, I want to do something with vanilla though. Let's. Let's try Burberry Goddess. Because it's like lavender and vanilla. But like not completely like gourmand smelling. Because I feel like that it eventually dries down into something that smells slightly floral on my skin. But I think this might smell good together. Because I do like OG Donna Born Aroma with Burberry Goddess too. This the one. I would get this. I give this combo 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. Oh, hold on. No, no, never mind. 9.5. 9.5 for sure. Beautiful combo. Beautiful combo. If y'all try any of these combos, let me know what you think in the comments below. But we all be trying out this fragrance. I think y'all should. And if you have already smelled it, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to like hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because I like to smell good and I obviously want y'all to smell good too. That's why I be testing these fragrances out for y'all. But... I will see y'all back here for my next video. Bye.